the preemptive sleeve! Preemptive sleeve! Oh my god, what happened here? <laughs> uh, uh, I have to, right? I have to keep trying again. Why not? We opened a freaking seasoned pyromancer last time I first picked a slumber. All right, I'm passing on a watcher, a trumpeting, tusker, rhyme. All right, let's run it back, chat. Hey, we pulled it off once last uh, last time we drafted it, and we swung with it. It was great. Oh, boom, baby, boom! An actual good snow card. I mean, not that this card is bad, but this is just conifer worm is the these knees. A sandbar, frostwalla, chili, probably wheels. Yikes, bad pack, bad pack. If this was an island or a forest, I would snap it, but it's not. So I might just actually take the fairy seer here, as bad as that seems. You would just cut the snow land even though that's a plains? Maybe. I don't- I wouldn't fault you for it, I think that's a fine pick. It's just, I don't wanna- Unless I get the astrolabes, I don't wanna have- I mean, I guess it goes hand in hand too. I don't wanna have too many off colors. I'm gonna snap up the Winter's Rest though. I am going to aggressively take most playable snow cards. Trumpeting Herd, sorry. It's time for me to rest. It depends on what type of event I'm in. Like at the at the Grand Prix, I was passing off color lands, but I think the lands are very high pickup, anyways. Um, like if I was any one of the like if you saw my here, I'll show it again. If you saw my uh, this is good. My slivers deck, for example, I took two of the Horizon lands pretty highly, and they were just very good every time. So it wasn't necessarily a money grab, although it was helpful. A little bit hard to see, but I had a fiery islet and a uh, sunbaked canyon in my red-white sliver deck. Chiller Pillar, Frostwalla, or a snow-covered forest. Also, Mother Bear. This pack is very good for us. I think I might actually take the land... <sighs> I think because this is a forest, I'm supposed to take it over. But man, all three of the well, rather these two cards, I really, really like. I think Mother Bear is just so good, and then I take Frostwalla over Chiller. But land here. Okay, another another similar pick. Sheesh. I'm gonna take the Frosty this time. I don't actually care for the Ice Blade Golem all that much. But like it, it's. They're both awkward signaling, as if you pass a Frostwalla, you know, it's kind of a signal. Well. Okay, easy. Tranquil Thicket is amazing, but Snow-Covered Forest is delicious. M Shadows? Thanks for the 17 months. Thanks for the sick one-man, one-punch man cost. Wow! Wow! We wield everything! Oh, I have to pass a Rhyme Tender and a Trumpeting Herd. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so if you didn't see my One Punch Man cosplay, let me find it for you. Like, here's a picture from round four or three or something. There's day two drafting. Nice. Bum 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 bum. Chili pilly. Silly willies. Sport frog. Yeah, so my pick one pack one was Merit Lage's Slumber Foil, but I also opened a regular Merit Lage's Slumber in the pack and then it wheeled. Second pick was Conifer Worm. <laughs> we doing it! And we get this Talisman of Curiosity. Look at that. This is a really nice pickup, too, uh, in case I just pick up a ton of random off-color Snowlands as extra fixing. 
Oh, last pick, Golem! <laughs> uh, Man of War. We wield the last Rhyme Tender, so I'm going to plan on wheeling this one. Wall of Blossoms, Rhyme Tender, Anirophage, Man. I don't actually like Anirophage in this style of deck, so. I think I have to go Man of War, Wall, and then Rhyme Tender just because this one wheeled last time, but Spider also very. Wall versus the island. Actually, Spring, Spring Bloom Druid, too. I guess I go with the Druid here. I don't expect to wheel Mama Bears. Ah! Astro, right? It's got to be Astro. It's always the Astro. Card's too good. All right, well, we'll take the foil. And then try to wheel the reg. How many snow permanents am I at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Dude, we could have had like four Wall of Blossoms now. Holy moly, these packs are... The redundancy in these packs are insane. All of these packs have had like a wall, a spider, a snow-covered forest, and then one of these. I'm gonna go with the Frosty this time. That's what I've heard. People keep telling me that the spoil snow lands are big, big bucks, big booty, big booty bucks. Rhyme over snow covered forest here. Remember, the rhyme tender did wheel last time, as did the trumpeting herd in the pack, but I'm still gonna take it. These types of sets are normally not redeemable, no? Guess we'll take the snow covered planes here. This is three tickets though, right? Actually, hell with it. I'll take a collector oof over. Over snow covered. Another frosty passing a spider. Jeez. Green is just amazingly open. I'm gonna keep going with snow. Oh my god. Yeah, look at this. Blah! What the fu? I don't actually know what's better here. I have two rhyme tenders and a curiosity, so maybe it's trumpeting herd, but like this card is very, very good. It's just I have so many ways to get to four. <laughs> Alright, come on. Money! No! Somebody said that was going up in price. Is it true? Two tickets. Meh. Last time the ice uh, hide golem came to me, fifteenth pick. So I don't need to first pick this. I would honestly rather just have like a snow covered mountain here. But this is probably wheeling as well. I could take pyro. I have druid and I have tusker and astrolabe. So. Or maybe removal is okay. And then wheeling a mountain doesn't hurt as bad. Under, rhyme, heat land. Take the land, we're gonna get the rhyme tender back at this rate. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. If you missed it last time, I cast Glacial Revelation twice. Or maybe, maybe more, but one time it hit six cards. <laughs> So we wield the Winter's Rest last time. I think I can probably wheel all three of these cards. It just depends on which one I want. Which one I don't want, I guess. <clears throat> you guys want the land? That's fine. I, I don't think I'm going to have a problem getting either of these back. And we already have so many playables that taking the lands is not a bad call. Wind uh, colors, whatever. I'll take the Mountain for the Pyro. Phage. This is not really the deck for a Nairophage, but I'm not taking the snow covered swamp, am I? Question mark. Still needed one more playable, so that's okay. Six, seven, eight. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We have nineteen snow permanents right now. So we might not end up 
squealing that Elder Trumpeting heard. That's pretty good. I mean, I think I'm just going to stay on theme and take the Golem over the Anurid. Okay, we did get the Rhyme back. Sideboard Tornado, or am I running a Swamp here? I think I like taking the Tornado for the side. I don't expect to get uh, any of the other islands or forests back, though. Gain nine! What is he doing? Uh, there are plenty of times I prefer 16 lands, but in this format I've been running usually more lands than fewer, just because of like random cycling lands, random horizon lands, um, stuff like that. Alright, well actually, I might not need to run this talisman, then we'll just go 17. Right, and just ship all of these in here. Oh, except for this. And I'm going to get access to nine more lands. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. That's way too much. More than anything else, I guess. Only one astrolabe kind of sucks. All right, that looks pretty good. Our removal is lacking. Uh, we do have two Winter's Rest and the Pyro, but I dig it. This could be a, a lower land count deck for sure, though. Triple Rhyme Tenders, a lot of Rampy Pampy. I think our game plan is just to draw their Conifer Worm every time. <laughs> With good mana. No! Ah! <laughs> and I have no Snowlands! That was bad, dude. You know, the nice thing about having done so many seals of this format first is that I'm not already tired, uh, tired of drafting. So I'll probably just be drafting this for the foreseeable future. Gray Ogre, go. Snow-covered forest one time, please. Yeah, draw four. Not bad. Yo, ACM 167. Things with the 57 months. Will I be doing M20 drafts on stream? Absolutely, when they are available. I didn't think a 2 2 was going to be relevant enough this turn. Ho oh, ho. Hello. I think I'm gonna wait. I should have played Bastion before attacking. That's fine though. I think I'm gonna wait a turn. Get him for four. And then just run out the uh trumpets. Yes. If I if I have the foil merit legis slumber, it will produce a foil token, correct? All of a bunch of cuts. All right. I might, I might, I'm, I might even kill him at this rate before anything else happens. But let's go. Slumber, scry, bottom, bastion, scry. Don't need that bottom. Rest, scry, tap, chili, pop. They block here, that's fine. I can pump and play Golem. If they don't block, that's also fine. I'll just play Wall. Or, yeah. Chili on top. We have uh, 10 snow permanents next turn. Land plus Frost Wall plus Chili. 10 permanents for Merit. They're playing blue white though. I mean, those are pretty good colors. For getting rid of Merrillage. Are they just... That is a crazy aggro attack. 
They have to have a string of disappearances here. I'm just going for the kill. They just left themselves dead on board. But even if they have the string, they take way too much damage. And I get to bounce their dude. Yeah, they just left themselves dead on board. Okay. D Two walls, huh? I can bring the thorns. Didn't actually look like pyrophobia was all that useful versus them, but I'm still gonna leave it in. Probably just cut one of these ice hide golems. Although, if we really want to go for it, we can cut the wall of blossoms instead and just leave all the snow permanents in. The most upsetting thing about this draft, I didn't open a money card. How unlucky to not open a mythic worth a lot of money. There we go. Asgard! Hey, yeah. One mana, two, two, one mana, two, two. Please draw snow covered fours next turn. Or merely just slumber. I have ten green sources in the deck, I believe. Maybe it's nine. Maybe ten or nine. Wow. I've been reprobated. Snow creature coward. Wait. It actually it removes the artifact type? Oh, I did not know that. Weird. On thin ice. I'm gonna draw six cards next turn. I'm not going to draw six cards anymore. I just bounce their dude. Now next turn we can go Revelation into Winter's Rest there. Recast rocks. Easy baby GG. Or if they play a wall here, same thing. You. We too want. Just divination. Boo. Will my opponent be happy to see another winter's rest? Yes or no? <laughs> you know what? I'm even going to attack with the ice blade. Stick it to you. Captain. Huzzah! Well, they're not dead on board, but they have to chump with the rocks veteran. Do I prefer this over Arena for this format? Absolutely. If I'm going to play Standard, I'll play Standard on Arena. If I'm playing anything not Standard, normally I prefer Magic Online. Cold. So sleepy. Apparently I should have brought in Nature's Chant. Alright, I will be right back. Run some trivia. Alright. <sighs> Food has been eaten. Nom nom nom. Hmm, excuse me. Alright. Let's do it again. Land is okay. All the blossoms can hopefully find us another land in time for a on curve trumpeting herd after a glacial. Hey, natural Nathan. 26 months. What's up, dude? Eat leftover burger. The fake burger, though. Plant-based burger. Emily bought some of them on sale. No blocks. 
All right, well, I'm going to get one card out of it. I think I'm supposed to fire off the wall of, or rather the uh, Glacial Revelation until I play out this Trumpeting Herd. Don't really want to discard. They're not bad. I still prefer the taste of a juicy, delicious, regular burger, but not bad. Eh, I don't mind running out the Trumpeting Herd. If I go Springbloom Druid, it does let me go into a Conifer Worm next turn. Uh, the real problem is the Changeling with the Infiltrator is going to do some nasty work to me. A lot of cards they're going to draw. They were on a Mulligan to 5, but they're, they're going to quickly get out of it. All right, let's hit some uh, lands here. Holy moly. Hit four cards, but none of them were land. You get two pro points for 11 and four. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, they're just gonna ninjutsu me out. They get to draw two cards this turn. So many unblockable creatures for me. I definitely have to best the ninja. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm gonna take like seven damage if they just draw an extra card before attacking next turn. This is really bad. I think I'm just gonna spring bloom. Oh, I meant to click on both. Whoops. Whoopsies. <clears throat> Ninjas might be like a the worst matchup for us. <laughs> yeah. I don't have enough removal to interact. If I had been able, if I had like drawn Pyro to kill the Infiltrator, yeah, we're probably fine. But taking seven here, drawing an extra card. I do have one Thornado in my sideboard. Remember, they mulligan to five. <clears throat> yep, they've drawn a hundred cards. I don't think the Spore Frogs are good enough. This also doesn't seem very good versus all their unblockables. Alright, I just looked. It is called Beyond Beyond Meat, the Impossible Burger. Beyond Meat. I know there are a few different varieties, but that's the one that we had. And again, it doesn't taste that bad. I'd rather have a burger, like a real, real meat, but that is a fine substitute for sure. Like, it tastes good in its own way. Um, the only issue that I have with that one is that it gets, like, really smoky when you're cooking it up. And, like, unless you aerate the house afterwards, it just smells like whatever the burgers taste like for a while. You know? Well, that's what it's called. It's, it said beyond... Beyond Burger, Impossible Burger, or something on the packaging. Nice little curve we have here. One mana, two, two, two mana, two, two, three mana, two, two. <clears throat> File. Glacial Rev doesn't draw cards, it puts them into your hand. Same with, with like, Winding Way. Unfortunately, that's not something that actually works. Hey, you shall have, thanks for the eight months. Almost two years! 16,000! 
strings of honey. Wow! Like your hair. Actually, let's play this for us so that we can just sacrifice it. Do we? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm at eight. No, we're not quite there. I want to kept a real slow hand, though. We had a ton of one and two drops in the first game where they crushed me. Now they didn't do anything. I'm going to block, absolutely. In fact, they want to use a removal spell to two for one me. That is A OK. -okay. Both of these are not snow. I could see Spring Bloom Druid being a snow creature, but it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, battle. Yeah, we just need the opponent to keep another hand that doesn't do anything until turn four, and we're good. Correct. Merit Lage's Slumber uh, counts itself. <laughs> not a Winter Bloom. <clears throat> you got me there. Uh, I think this is a unfortunate keeper. A one drop from them's good. Really want to draw Winter's Rest before they can get a creature online. Very pleased with them not having anything turn one or turn two though. No blue mana still. For the record. Aha. Alright, so I'll go ahead and... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they could defile here. Oh, and now they just drew a blue for ninjutsu too. Well, that's going to be a little bit more unfortunate if that's the case. I'm 100% blocking here. There's no way I'm not. Great trade for us. <laughs> oh no, can't Winter's Rest that one. Ransack the lab. Insta took something, uh, presumably another land, yeah. Alright, no, we're gonna... So, the issue is when I Winter's Rest this, they just get to start sacking stuff. Oh, there we go. That was a great draw. They have one card in their hand? Yeah, that, so let's... I row the Therapist. Rest down the Ninja, pass. We can definitely play a long game here with Glacial. I already had a red, oh, well, two red sources, but yeah. Sleepy Ghost Ninja. All right, how many cards am I gonna draw with Glacial Revelation? Predict the number between zero and six. How many cards will I hit? Uh-oh, that's one fewer. Actually, I don't even need to do it right now. Oof, well. Good news, I just bottomed two non-snow permanents before using Glacial. So that's good. And before they make me discard it. <laughs> Lock. But I wasn't kidding. Umazawa's charm? I could just let the trade happen. Alright, I, I bite. We got Defile now. Again, I could just let that trade happen, and I don't think that's bad, but... Alright, here we go. Three. Okay. Lose some tasty pasties, but that wasn't all that bad.
Leave it on top. Cast it. So my pick one, pack one, or my opening pack, pack one, I opened Merit Lage's Slumber and normal Merit Lage's Slumber. And then this one wheeled after I took this. Funny. We're at 10. Best part is, even if I do get rid of the first one, it'll, I get the foil one afterwards. Okay, draw a card. I was Saitama, indeed. I mean, I always just take the foil. I'm sure you can make some argument for one or the other. But... I mean, obviously there are things that they could have, but they need it right now is the answer birdie oblivion thanks for the three months we are now 2-0 and moving into the finals playing out the other slumber is bad if i do this is not a may ability um so say they just draw a bounce spell right say they draw a bounce spell for the turn they pass the other Merit Lage's Slumber triggers, sacrifices itself, makes another 20-20. I have to choose one to keep. Then they bounce the one that I kept, and I've lost both. It, won't, it wouldn't prevent an attack. I, I just choose the one that uh, is not summoning sick. But I have... I can get blown out that way. Better just to hold it. See if they have a way to get rid of my first Merit Lage. If they do, great. Play out the second. If they don't, great. I win. They, they saw the second one. It was revealed off of the Glacial Rev. Pretty nice hand here. Pretty nice hand indeed. All right. Found a third land for a turn three trumpeting herd. Yikes. This curve out's nice. They played a Cave of Temptation. Made red. It's alright, we can still 2 1. Alright, Fairy Seer, what are you gonna turn into? Moonblade Shinobi, Mist Naga Syndicate, Ingenious Infiltrator, Azra Smoke Shaper. Please do not hurt me. Be Hobbsy! It's a 55 months. You're welcome for signing your playmat. Even though you weren't there! I remember! I don't think I'm going to need double Winter's Rest in one turn. Alright, what do you got? Joink! Alright, Moonblade. That's fine. Oh. We have some pretty good turn sequences coming up soon. Well, that's not very nice. And Fairy Seer? Yeesh. <laughs> How can you do three things with three mana? It's not fair. Three spells with three lands. That's cheating. We're gonna pyro this. Press the outcast. 
play another golem. You want, I don't want to kill this just in case they have the return from extinction, because this counts as anything, so they could return potentially two creatures. String along all of my elephants. Two top. Two cards left in hand. I mean, I'm going to feel a little bit bad if they ninjutsu their illusion through. But obviously, I'm supposed to attack first before cycling or doing any of that nonsense. But well. No, well, thank God they didn't have the indestructible one. This is three mana. Do you have another Moonblade? You do. I don't think I'm supposed to just Winter's Rest plus Chill Pillar. I think I'm supposed to hold the Winter's Rest or something else. Okay, no 3 3 again. No Smoke Shaper or whatever. Another Scour. Dang it. They have a very nice deck, huh? Lots of synergy there. How many Snow Permits do I have? 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, okay, they did have uh, Return from Extinction. Well, now we're going to go ahead and make the play of just Winter Resting that token then. Get him for five, put him to nine, and then try to win in two turns with the uh, Chiller Pillar. They have two Shinobis, which are just terrible on this board currently. Grave Shifter on Mana War, I presume. Or maybe they get back their fairy. I think it makes more sense to get back Mana War, though, even if they can't cast it. Hmm. So, chat, I'm taking bets. What's the uh, What are the odds that uh, I get them with untap of Chili Pilly? Probably pretty high, right? They did top something. But... Yes. Come to me. What? I think they messed up, for sure. They definitely messed up. You guys ready for this? <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. Shinobi and one unknown card in their hand. It was infinite. Don't know why they didn't concede sooner, honestly. Okay. Let's take out the wall. Again, too many unblockable. Although this is very good versus their 3-2s once they're on the battlefield. Uh, yeah, F it. We'll roll with the 41. No, I had an infinite combo. Rhyme Tender, untapping Rhyme Tender. No snow land, but this hand's great. Can you imagine if this had snow lands in it? It would be super great. I don't think I've once cast the Conifer Worm. Don't hurt me. Thank God. You prohibit this, I will cry. No! Where are my snowlands? Damn it. Ah, now they stupid shinobi and make a flyer and poop. Central. I bounce the token. Then they like kill my mana war and then get in again. Can't draw stupid snowlands.
that's worth keeping. Ah! This is so annoying. God, they bounce. Ah! What kind of hand is that? All right, you win. He's up. You know what's terrible versus all that bounce? 2020. <laughs> I mean, I still get all the scry and whatnot, but. Holy moly. I wonder if I'm supposed to cut a Merit Lage's Slumber, bring back the Ice Hide. Jeez. All right, turn one, two, two, turn two, 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 turn three, three, three. Oh boy, here we go. It begins. Ah, turn three, potentially two three threes. Handsome Tom, thanks for the 31 months. I've got a real good curve here. Hey, McJimbo. With 67 months and Satera with the 55 weeks. Thank you to all my friends. Our cur curve is good, but they have so much. Like, if they just mana war, that's elephant. Y yeah, exactly. Like, their deck can beat this curve. As sad as I am to say it. I think I just want to trade off with the Mana War, even if I'm losing my Rhyme Tender. Yeah. Here it comes, 4-3. 4-3 Flyer, make a Flyer. Dude, so gross. Chumping there. I mean, they're gonna have the. If they attack, then they obviously have their string of disappearances. Oh my god! Stop it! Just stop it! Help! Help me! Help! Alright, well, I'm hoping to hit, I guess. My tornado then. Pretty much just dead. Uh, is that? Get a snow permanent that can, yeah, I can get winter's rest, so we'll keep it. I'm at one on board. This is so gross. Oh my lord. I guess I can't, even if I draw winter's rest, it doesn't matter. We're just dead. I'm surprised we actually took a game off of them. Well, let's see how many we can draw off of this. Maybe we'll feel, make ourselves feel better. Nope, just two. It's Thornado and Pyro as well. Yeesh! Gross. I think to beat their deck, you needed something like a Crypt Rats or Winds of Abandon. Dead of Winter. If I had Dead of Winter! Dead of Winter, oh my god. Two. 